So today, Blizzard finally admit the latest patch broke performance in high performance areas, aka raids and the like. Now I'm gonna dive into that post in a second and help digest it a little bit. But first I'm gonna summarize where we're at so far. When the patch launched, I did a stream on this channel for about six and a half hours, and I spent almost the entirety of the stream trying to figure out why FPS were worse. Settings didn't change, add-ons didn't change, and I even doubled down on checking everything. I disabled add-ons. I lowered settings beyond where I normally would have them and still had lower FPS than I normally would have in a raid, especially busy fights like this one, where there's so much stuff going on, and the game client was just, the performance was terrible. 20 FPS on this fight where I'm normally about, normally about 50 to 60 at my, at my settings. And lowering the settings didn't help that much. It was still really bad. So after spending an entire stream trying to figure out what's going wrong, I came conclusively that it wasn't add-ons and it wasn't even the engine. It was something else they changed. Something that based on my CPU profiling was eating more CPU than normal. Like on the back end, some, some new code was added to the game, not in the patch notes, that was, we didn't understand, and without context, we didn't know where to test or where to work on it. And after that, I put, literally put out a PSA video about it, let my users know who come to this channel for technical advice and insight to let them know it's not just them. They didn't mess things up with the patch. The patch messed things up for them. So I put out this PSA video saying, it's not just you. 10.05 has lower FPS. And that's just one of the issues I covered. I actually didn't dive too deep into other issues, but other issues that were introduced were desyncing of visuals versus like what's happening. Like you get hit by something before you see the visual or constant disconnects during the fight. All these came with the patch. Well, today we now know why. Today we got this blue post that in summary basically says they pushed experimental code straight to live. No PTR, no beta. They just went right to production, something you just don't do with this kind of thing. The intent of the code was good. They basically say here, this work is being done now in preparation for the game's future needs as it grows. Unfortunately, we experience side effects that have been seen in certain high performance parts of the game, AKA rating, like the palace. We've been working on these issues with urgency and earlier today, we deployed hotfixes that we believe will reduce desyncs with certain possibilities and address sudden disconnects during combat. In addition, they mention we have more fixes on the way, including performance and including imp improvements to the client's responsiveness during raid encounters, aka the low FPS that came with the patch. They're working on that too. They didn't specifically say it in so much words. They put it in a very politically correct way of saying client responsiveness. But we know what client responsiveness is. And they're going to continue to stay focused on game performance issues that remain or arise following today's hotfixes. So they're working on the issue, but the summary of it is they are working on backend code to improve the game's long term. Basically, they realize at this point the engine's not keeping up with the game's uh, systems anymore. The uh, game is not running well in these situations, and they're they're acknowledging that, that, that that's, that's progress, that's good. But the way they went about it was the completely and totally wrong way. You don't just take these kind of system changes and just push them to live and make the players the guinea pigs. Like, it's okay in the PTR because P uh, players are signing up for that. That's where they should have happened. This shouldn't have gone up with the 1115, or 1105, excuse me. They should have... Uh, pushed out to the PTR they just have put up now, 1107, and then told users, we got some tech in there that's gonna improve in performance, but we want it tested first to iron out any bugs. If they had done that, they would have caught these bugs, and we would have had a situation of it going live, quality that it did, or lack of quality, because it's pretty much skipped quality control. It might have had some internal quality control, but internal quality control will never be as good as player quality control. That's why they have PTRs in the first place. That's why you can't skip the PTR for fundamental game changes like this. It needs to be on the PTR. Now, like I said, I'm very glad they're doing this, but the way they went about it was a disaster and it should not have happened. And again, 
in my previous videos, I've been worried about when they're on a time crunch and they're rushing, that things like this are going to happen more and more often. And that just can't be. Like, Blizzard needs to take a step, evaluate their processes, and fix this issue because patches shouldn't ship broken. They just shouldn't. And hopefully, 1107 sees a much more strict quality control in the PTR that prevents this from continuing to happen with patch deployments. I know they run up rapid pa patch cadence, this eight week schedule thing, but maybe it shouldn't be eight weeks if they're not pulling it off. Maybe it should be nine weeks or 10 weeks because two extra weeks can make a difference between a successful patch launch and a disastrous patch launch. Now, I would say there's some players would argue this patch launch wasn't disastrous depending on how they play the game. Maybe they don't raid. They didn't encounter these performance issues or disconnect issues that literally made the game unplayable. But for many players, this patch was a disastrous launch. And I'm very glad to see them owning up to it. I am very glad. They could have done a very simple post that said, we've identified some issues and uh, we're working on them. They didn't, have to, they didn't have to admit that they screwed up. They didn't have to admit that, but they did. And that transparency, I have great respect for. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt in this and say they realized they screwed up. And hopefully it will not happen again going forward. And they are going to work on this diligently. This was a blue post in response to another blue post here where they were vague about it. And they gave more context because of how long it's taken them to fix it. Because they've been working on it since patch. Like, they put this post up on the 25th. And users were getting mad, you know, this thread's been going on and on. So they gave a contextual update, which, again, I'm glad they did. But anyways, I want to keep this video short, but just do a small update to again say it's not you. It's them, but they're working on it. And I'm glad they're working on it. And I'm glad that they admit to it. But I also want to say, I told you so. And that is all. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe for more insight from me and I told you so's on this channel going forward. Thank you and see you in the next one.